Hey y'all, welcome back to my rad channel. Um, since I'm rad, you're rad for being back and watching the channel. Let's get going to the topic. Today's topic is contrasts again. Um, it is with IV contrasts. As my previous video, we talked about the different isoviews, omnipegs, and all that. I just wanted to reiterate about how contrast would make someone feel. So we're thinking about our patients at all time, their safety, their comfort, and how things can run smoothly. Because the more information we provide to our patients, the smoother and better imaging we can get for our radiologists. So just a reminder, it is very important to share and um, give knowledge to the patients to know what's happening to them. So just a great reminder to have is remind them that you are going to start an IV on them if they don't already have one. And hopefully you get it on the first shot, fingers crossed. Um, so make sure you have a great IV and we went through the IVs, what type of IVs we need for different procedures. So make sure you review that. Um, and again, remind them that the IV contrast um, will probably make them either have a metal taste in their mouth, that's a symptom that they can have, and that's normal. So all the normal symptoms are um, metallic taste in the mouth, a warm flesh feeling through the body, and that's because um, the contrast is more viscous than our blood. Um, so it's just gonna feel like it's rushing and heating it up. So remind them that they might get hot. That's normal. It's temporary. Another crazy thing is that they may feel like they're going to urinate on themselves. So they get that warm feeling down there in the pelvic air region where they feel like they're going to pee on themselves. And some say they do. I've never had contrast myself, so I can't say what happens, but this is what patients tell me and what I've kind of learned through what other people say. So um, yes, it's a great reminder. So it's not surprising to them because they might feel like they're gonna start peeing and then they freak out and then all your pictures are ruined. So it's just great to just educate them and remind them and let them know, just give them the heads up. Um, so metallic taste, warm flesh feeling, um, the urination feeling, and uh, I can't think of anything right now, but that's mainly what I tell the patients. And you know, just remind them to relax, try to listen to the breathing instructions as best as they can, and it'll be done shortly in like five minutes or whatever the procedure is. So just get them comfortable if they need a cushion underneath their knees to relax more, that'd be fine. If they need like a towel over their eyes um, or a blanket if they're cold, if this is available in the facility, of course. Um, so just get them comfortable, a pillow under their head and it'll make your job easier and their experience easy as well. So. Good luck to you, and I hope everything goes well. So, just FYI, all right? Toodles, noodles.